In the previous video, we took a look at the theory behind embedded analytics. And we also had a look at some examples of embedding Tableau into a web page. What I'd now like to do in this second video is um, give you a little bit of an overview of the tools that we need to use in order to embed Tableau. And we're also going to start embedding our very first Tableau dashboard. Now, um, what we'll do is, uh, let's first of all, what we need is take a look at what you need to install on your machine. And that is actually not a lot. What you need is only a text editor. Now we can see on the left hand side of my screen here, this is a text editor. It looks a little bit more fancy uh, than Notepad or Notepad++. And that is because I'm using a text editor called Visual Studio Code. Now, at the moment of recording, Visual Studio Code is one of the um, most popular text editors out there for people that do web development or that do anything related to coding. Um, so you can also write uh, Python and R and all kinds of programming languages. Uh, everything is kind of supported in this tool. And what's really good about this is that it often has autocomplete um, and that you'll, you'll see that in, in this video and in the next few videos as well. Now, this is also completely free. Um, it's built by Microsoft, um, but everything is free. So you can just, I'm using a Mac, but you can just hit download for Mac here and then it will install and it will, will use it. I am highlighting VS Code here uh, just because that is the text editor that I am using. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Um, others out there are Atom from GitHub, uh, which is actually Microsoft now as well. Sublime Text is also a popular one, um, although that one's paid for. But you can also use Notepad or Notepad++, whatever works for you. Okay, It's just that you need a text editor where you can write um, some HTML, some JavaScript. You need to be able to save it as an HTML file or a JavaScript file. Okay. So I've already downloaded uh, Visual Studio Code. And this is how Visual Studio Code looks when you open it the first time. Now I installed a, a theme and you can install lots of themes to customize the look and feel of Visual Studio Code. Um, but one of the things that um, we want to do um, in order to also embed Tableau to create web applications is install a little extension. And that little extension again is free. And I think I can click on this particular button here. There we go. And in that one, you can search for extensions in the marketplace. Now I have this tool already installed because I use it a lot. And that one is called um, Live Server. So is this one It has um, at the moment of recording over 4 million downloads. And what this will do, this Live Server, is uh, fairly easy give you a server that can uh, kind of serve up your HTML file. Um, and this is quite useful because this um, kind of mirrors the setup if um, for when you are deploying your application. Now, in any browser, you can also just open up HTML files. You can also do that. But please um, install this tool because I'll be using it and you'll see why it's, it's very useful. So at the moment, I already have it installed. Okay, so I'm just going to close this up and go back here. Now, that is the only thing that we need to get started with um, on, on your own computer. Now, what I would also suggest is creating a Tableau public profile. Now, Tableau public is a great community um, with lots of really good examples of the capabilities of Tableau, the creativity of uh, community members, and it's a great place to learn. Now, the good thing as well is that lots of these dashboards here are open for everyone to download so you can learn from it. And uh, this is also what we're going to use in this video series. Um, my Tableau public profile is not the most crowded, uh, but I have a few dashboards that we can use to start embedding um, and learning about embedding. Um, so please go to public.tableau.com. If you have no account, please, please sign up. If you want to use uh, Tableau online, uh, that is also possible. So uh, you can embed Tableau from Tableau Public, from Tableau Server, and from Tableau Online. Now, if you have um, no, if you don't have a Tableau Online um, instance, you can get a free one if you join Tableau's developer program. This Tableau Online um, 
in the, 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 the server itself will be on the latest beta. So you will always be in the kind of the, the latest non-released <laughs> version. And um, this allows you to um, easily learn about embedded analytics and you can use all kinds of APIs within Tableau. But it's really good that it gives you a free um, um, site where you can play with. Okay? So you don't have to play with your production um, server. If you have a Tableau server, you can also follow along with Tableau server. One thing to mention for Tableau online and for Tableau server is that you will get a little pop up to log in if you embed a dashboard, if you aren't logged in. For Tableau public, you of course don't get a dashboard login pop up, um, but that is that is good. So um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to first take a look at some of the documentation for the Tableau, Tableau JavaScript API. And the Tableau JavaScript API at the time of recording is for version 2020.1. And um, as it already says here in the one liner, it allows you to integrate Tableau visualizations into your own web applications. So we're going to learn a little bit of HTML and a little bit of JavaScript. At some point, also some, some CSS to do some, some styling as well. Now, we can see some of the kind of examples here, display visualizations for Tableau Server, Tableau Public, and Tableau Online, dynamically load and resize, select marks, respond to events, and export visualizations. So those are kind of the, the options that you have. Now, um, the first thing actually is um, that we want to do is not look at using the JavaScript API, but see what is the quickest way we can start creating an HTML file and then embedding that HTML file in a particular web page. So that's something we'll do in the next video. This video was um, just introducing you to installing a text editor.